Hello guys, Mr. 1990 here, and yes, you've guessed it, another FIFA 12 video. First things first, if you have a local team, all my team coins, go check out the game keys, look at the AK links, that will be in the description, as well as the discount code, you want to go check out the Facebook page as well, and leave a like, that'll be absolutely amazing, but you guessed it correctly, FIFA 12, and it's going to be Premier League score builder today for you, I've done a couple before, not sure what order I'm going to be doing the videos in, so I don't really know if I've already got ones on my channel, or if not, you're going to have to let me know in the comments. But smash that like button, guys. I want to see a 1,000 likes for these episodes. That will be absolutely sick. But it's going to be a Premier League team. Big thank you to my friend, Mr. Johnny, for lending me some of these players. Also, a couple of you guys off Twitter have lent me a few as well. So that's absolutely amazing. Thank you for so much for uh, lending me these players and being able to do these squad builders. We're going to go on to the goalkeeper. And we're going to have in goal uh, Tim Krull. Now, my friend is a Newcastle fan. So quite a few of these players are Newcastle players. But Tim Krull, honest opinion. I've used checking goals, which I have in my club. He's amazing. He's honestly amazing on this game. He's obviously the blue one, which is the team of the season. Uh, 88 diving, 82 handling, 89 reflexes. Really good goalkeeper in real life as well. Still quite good to this day. Two centre-backs are going to be using. Inform company over on this side here. Obviously, I think he has got a blue card, but unfortunately, I didn't have that one. So we've got company. You know, not bad, not bad. I think he's in the final team of the week. Good player, really good stats as well. 74 pace on him, good strength possibly. 88 defending, 83 heading, 71 dribbling and 74 passing respectively. Colaccini even, blue card. 70 pace on him, 75 passing, 70 dribbling, 93 defending and 89 heading. Really good player. They're both 85 rate, but Kosh... Kosh I keep wanting to call him Koscielny. Colaccini is really... Oh my lord, what the hell am I doing? I'm going to go to the right back now. We have got Danny Simpson. Obviously, like I said, he's a Newcastle fan, so it makes sense to use him. But he's actually really good in this game. I think he makes a QPR in real life now. I don't even know if he actually plays for QPR or not. But he's a really solid player on this game. He's probably quite a cheap player, I'd imagine. 82 pace, 77 passing, 77 dribbling, 80 defending and 82 heading. He does a job there. He is actually really solid. The left back we're going to be using is going to be Blue Leighton Baines. Now... Brilliant player. Brilliant player in real life. Brilliant player in this game. Look at those stats across the board. He's 80s at pretty much everything apart from heading, which is 73, which is still pretty decent. Got that 82 shot on him. Obviously, you all probably know for his free kicks, etc. We'll move on to the right mid now, and I think we're going to be rocking the right wing in here, and it's going to be um, Inform Ben Arthur. I think that might be a second Inform, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, he's a five-star skiller. We've got a few other options we could use in right mid, but we chose Ben Arthur because he's five-star skills, 90 pace, 85 shooting, 91 dribbling, heroic card on this game, and another Newcastle player. We're going to move over to the centre mid now. It's going to be another Newcastle player, and that is going to be Johan Kabai. Um, team of the season. Obviously, he plays with PSG now, but look at them stats on cards. Got 80 pace, 87 shooting, 90 passing, 86 dribbling, 80 defending, and 83 heading. Unreal card. Let's see it in all its glory for you. Just have a look at that. Absolutely insane card right there. And then the next player we're going to be using is this guy right here. Yes, that is correct. That is Paul Pogba. He is a 55 rated for Manchester United on this game. Unbelievable. I think he got an upgrade to like a 64 or something. But obviously you guys probably know him now for scoring some heroic goals for Juventus. He's got like an Inform 82 on uh, FIFA 14. But 55 bronze. At, but look at his stats for a 55 bronze. 79 pace, 70 shooting, 70 dribbling, 75 defending and 50 passing is pissed. 60 heading as well. But Lord Jesus, we had to put him in the team. The left mid we're going to be using is going to be the blue Gareth Bale. Holy hell. 96 pace 88 shooting 89 passing 93 dribbling 77 defending and 72 heading brilliant player obviously you guys all know him now for playing for real madrid and being an absolute hero but he was a left mid on this game i think he's like a right wing on um fifa 14 is in form anyway i think his regular cards like a cam or a center forward etc two strikes we're going to be using uh we're going to be using inform suarez i think that might be his first inform thinking he might have had one or two more after that but still inform suarez 85 pace 90 shooting 87 dribbling Really good player, scores some very nice goals. And the next player we're going to be using is going to be international man of the match, Balotelli. And I absolutely love this card. I picked it up for 65k. Oh lord, you wouldn't be able to get a card like this these days, 65k. 86 pace, 88 shooting, 87 dribbling, 80 heading. He's bloody purple for Christ's sake. Beautiful card. We're going to move over to the bench now. We've got some other gems in here. We've got Heitinger, who's actually really, really good. Look at his pace, 78. Good defensive abilities. So we've got Nani, obviously a five-star skilling option. We've got Walcott. Inform, I think he had another inform after that. He was like a striker. We've got David Silver, 88. You would probably put him inside of Pogba. But I thought I had to use Pogba in this team, which has been rude not to. We've got a bloody orange 
Stuart Downing. I mean, that is that deserves a like right there just for that. We've got Abon Lahore, obviously the pace hole. We've got Papa Cisse there, who looks astonishingly good. We've got Ruddy in form. We've got Weeter in form. We've got Mika Richard, who had an in form. Uh, this is his regular car, but his in form was so good. He had like 88 pace and 90 defending or something crazy like that. We've got Lloyd Dyer in form, who again for a silver looks amazing. And of course, to finish it off, we've got Emil Heskey, who I packed. Fantastic player. Holy hell, that is a beautiful looking team. Oh my god. I don't want to leave this team. It's going to completely just be ripped apart on the 28th of February. It's going to make me cry. It's actually going to make me cry. If it's going to make you cry, leave it in the comments. Hopefully you've enjoyed this part of the video. There's going to be some goals. There's going to be some music. There's going to be just some lovely moments of FIFA 12 reminiscing the good times. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you can live a like, that would be absolutely heroic. Have a nice day. See you again soon. And bye-bye. Cheers! Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out then fill the hole Tear me apart Tear me apart and watch it burn